Hey, you're listening to Coffee Talk with Liquid Shana 1973. Here's your host, Shane Lakita. Hey folks, thanks so much for listening again here on another episode of Coffee Talk with Liquid Shano 1973. I wanted to check in with you for a pretty quick podcast this time around because I wanted to talk to you just a little bit about some stuff that's been on my mind, but I also wanted to let you know of a couple things that are going on, such as I'm going to be away for about a week, so I won't be recording any podcast in the meantime, but I'll be down in Virginia Beach Uh, visiting my family and just kind of getting some good soul food in and helping my mother out and helping my father out. As some of you may know, my father suffers from Alzheimer's. So it's something that I am battling through from afar. And it's going to be really good to get down there for a week to be able to help my mother out with any kind of chores around the house and just be there for them and then also bond with my father as much as I can um, as the, the this relentless disease progresses with him. But it'll be good. It's going to be a good time to be able to go down there just to connect and make sure that we're engaging and, and doing a lot of really you know good things as a family-wise. So that's where I'm going to be for the next week. So I'm going kind of off the grid a little bit. I might post a written copy talk on the different social media platforms or some pictures of some family on Instagram and stuff like that if you'd like to keep up with it. We did release a new video cast this last weekend uh, for episode six for two kitchen tables and a microphone. So if you get a chance, pop on over. I will put the link here on the podcast on the uh, website. We've also got it on our Instagram page and our Facebook page because it's a pretty good one. I, I felt like I got pretty deep on this one talking about quantifying your why and making sure that you are writing it down to make sure that if it's on if it's written down it's on paper it's on purpose and there's more value behind it and give you some more drive towards getting to where you need to get to okay so those are some of the things i just wanted to cover with you so two kitchen tables and a microphone i'm going to be away from the podcast for about a week but when i get back i'll be raring and ready to go to be able to continue to engage with you guys and talk about things that are on my mind. But we'll go ahead and get right into today's topic. And it's a really quick one that I was thinking about or going over in my mind. And the thing that I was thinking about was around attitude. You know, I posted it on Copy Talk this morning on the written one and got some traction from it. And some people really were inspired by the words that I had put on there and the, the things that I had written down about attitude. And, you know, it's interesting because... We talk about attitude and we talk about effort being two really major words that we use in this journey. Because if you have a bad attitude about the journey, you're going to fail, right? And then if you don't put the effort into doing something, you're going to fail there too. So you have to, one, put the effort in. It takes work. It takes dedication. It takes time. It takes focus. It takes all those things. And I think a lot of people that want to be able to move forward with it just being as quick as possible... And it'd be a quick fix and get it done and just bada bing, bada boom, out the door and we're good to go and we lose 100 pounds and we're all set and we just keep moving on. That would be great, right? That'd be perfect. But that's not reality. Reality is it takes work. It's a grind. We have to work every day. You have to put the work in to be able to get your return on investment as we've talked about many times before. So first of all, you got to put the effort in. And the effort only comes from if you have the right mindset and attitude towards the journey that you're on. You know, we all struggle every single day. We wake up, we might be on the uh, wrong side of the bed. Maybe we're in a bad mood. Maybe we're just a grump, right? And we're just looking around at everybody just going, hey, you know what? Screw that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do this. I don't want to track another item. I don't want to count another calorie. I don't want to have to do any kind of maintenance, nothing. I don't want to do anything right now because I'm just not in the mood, right? Right? We've all been there. But the thing about it is that if you don't have the attitude to be able to turn that around and bring a positive spin on everything, and you know, listen, a lot of people will always say, hey, Shane, you know, you're you're very Pollyanna, right? You're very, you're always on the positive outlook of things. You're always looking at the, the bright side of the sun, when in reality, it's sometimes okay to park in the negative. And complete, I, I completely agree. Right? I completely agree with the, the fact that sometimes we have to grieve, sometimes we have to process, sometimes we have to do many things to be able to get to where we need to get to and get through the things we have to get through. Right. So when you think about it, after all that, after all is said and done and we're working hard at everything and we've grieved through what we have to do, the key to it is just bouncing back. 
can you bounce back from your negativity? Can you bounce back from the, 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 the bad place that you're sitting in? Can you bounce back from drama that's happened in your life or something's going on out there in the, in the real world that's just kind of smacking you in the face again? Do you have the bounce and elasticity for you to be able to say boing and bounce right back up, get back on your feet and keep moving forward? And that's really a huge thing to work on for a lot of people because what happens a lot of times when things go sour, right? We, we, we sit down and we go through these, these modes of I'm depressed, I'm down, I'm not feeling good. You know, this isn't worth it. It's not worth the whole entire investment. All this work I'm putting in, I'm not getting anything back from it. Why am I doing this? All these things that we go through all the time and our mind gets the little monkeys going on in there and it really battles against us right? And what it's easier, it's almost easier as a human being, which is so sad, but it's almost easier for you to sit down and live in the space of the negativity. For you to live in the space of people coming down on you, woe is me, I'm just not worth it, I'm just not feeling it, all those things. It's so easy to do that. And why is it easy to do that? It should take work to do that. We should be naturally wired as a positive people, shouldn't we? I mean, you think about all the people that you know that are positive influences in you, on your life, on the people all around you or whatever. And what happens to a lot of those folks that are always positive? They catch the back end of the stick a lot of times when all kinds of other people are like, oh, you're always so positive, man. You're always just so, oh, I can get it done. Oh, I can do whatever. I, all these things. And I've heard these in my life because, you know, most for the most part, although I talk about the real situations that go on around us. But when I'm doing a coffee talk, nine times out of 10, it's about positive reinforcement. It's about lifting people up. It's about us coming together to be able to say, okay, how can I sit back and lift another person up and then also support them and also build them and also get them to where they need to be, right? So if if we're all working on these things and we're all sitting there trying to be able to grind through it, I being a positive person, I've always tried to be able to bring that out. Now, I have my moments. Don't get me wrong. I have my negative moments. You know, I work around people all day long, all day long, right? So I'm traveling throughout the state. I deal with customers. I deal with employees. I deal with um, business owners. I deal with coworkers. I deal with all this stuff all day long. I'm on the phone all day. I'm on conference calls. I'm talking. I'm chatting. I'm, I'm doing all kinds of stuff like that, right? And so at the end of the day, when I get home, a lot of times I don't want to deal with people. I just don't want to deal with anybody. That's why a lot of times I do my coffee talks in the morning because if I can get them done in the morning when I have the right frame of mind and I'm ready to go and I'm ready to bust it out and go do what I have to do, I set my day off right and I can go ahead and continue to push forward. But when I get home in the evening, I don't want to deal with anybody. And I don't. that's not fair to my family for me to have to be in a bad mood like that, right? I mean, I, yeah, so what? So I've dealt with all these people or situations or whatever else all day long. And then I get home. My wife has dinner made. And I'm like, oh, this is so great. Awesome. Thanks. And then from that point forward, am I being a grump or am I being a, a really welcoming and open and, and loving person, right? I mean, you got to think about that. So my attitude matters. My attitude matters to my family. My attitude matters to the situation. My attitude matters to everything around me. And I can set the whole course of the evening off with my family on the wrong foot because I come in like a stupid grump-a-dump and I've been out there dealing with situations all day long and I'm exhausted, I'm tired, I'm all that good stuff. And then I come home and I take it out on my family. And that's just not, it's not fair. It's not fair one single bit to them. It's not fair to me. It's not fair to any of the situation because they're looking forward to having me home. They're they're looking forward to me spending time with the family, even though my son's time with the family is probably spent more on Xbox and iPads and stuff like that. But it's still a family cohesive unit. And my wife looks forward to those times when we could spend some time together. And here I am taking it out on my family because I need an attitude adjustment. Somebody needs to pick me up, right? So all day long, I'm sitting there getting beat down. I'm I'm getting tired. I'm exhausted. I get home. Attitude adjustment the second that I walk through the door. So now when I get home, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll actually pull into my driveway and I'll park just for a moment. And I'll think to myself, okay, get all of the things that have gone on during the day off your chest. Get it out. Let let it loose. Just release it. Release it from your mind, from your heart, from everything. Let it go. 
And then when you get out of the car, you can walk into the house and there you have a loving wife, a loving son, a loving dog, and you are in a beautiful home and you're just walking in and embrace every moment and love everything about it, right? So that all matters, every single bit of that. Attitude matters. Now, when you have attitude, when you when you have a good attitude about things and you're living in the positive space of being just, I can do this or I can achieve my goals and I can lose the weight that I want to and I can work out the way that I need to and I can achieve all the goals that I wanted to. I can hit that three-pointer. I can walk a mile. I can be the best worker at my, at my employment. All those things. I can do it. I can right? is all about attitude. It's all about believing in yourself and doing the things that you have to do. And if you don't believe in the things that you that you want to do, or you don't believe you can achieve those goals, then you're probably not going to achieve those goals. Okay? So think about it. Attitude matters. So that's one part of the equation. Now, the other part is you can't just have a great attitude and not work at it to get to the job done. Okay, but you're more likely to put the effort in because effort matters also. You're more likely to put the effort in if you have a good attitude about it. If you think you can do it and you think you can achieve it and you go into it with a positive mindset, you're 10 times more likely to, to put the correct, proper, adjusted amount of effort in to be able to achieve those goals and achieve those accomplishments that you're looking to achieve, right? Because it takes work, it takes time, it takes energy. So if you're if you're not willing to put those things in, then you're not going to be successful. If you're also not willing to change your attitude to a positive one, leaning into those actions that you want to be able to put into it, now you've got a double whammy, right? You got two big, huge whammies. You got one whammy. I got a really crappy attitude, and I don't really think I can accomplish the things that I want to because I've always failed, or I'm, I'm just not successful, or this is really difficult, or whatever. And now I also have the well. I just want it to come quick. I just want. I, I don't want to have to deal with all this work I got to put into it. Why can't I just push a button and get it done? Right. All of us would love to be able to push that button, but we know it takes work. It takes effort. Effort matters. Attitude matters. They all do. They go hand in hand with each other. And if you don't have one that coincides with the other, then it really, you, you start to, one starts to pull from the other. So if you have a good attitude, but no effort, what happens? You're really positive about the fact that you can hit your goals, but you're probably never going to really hit your goals. Or if you got really hard work, but you believe that you can't do it, guess what happens? You're going to burn out and you're just going to be sitting there working your tail off the whole entire time and never be able to accomplish the things you want to because you don't believe in yourself that you can accomplish those things. They, they go hand in hand with each other. It's pretty amazing when you think about the way that the mind thinks that way and the way that the mind works. If we can if we could take a little bit of this and a little bit of that and put them together and start to really build both of those skill sets up, just build up the positivity on both ends of those, on effort and on attitude. You could build them both up. And then nobody's going to be perfect. You can't be, well, I'm not talking about being perfect in either one of those categories, but if you're building and you're growing in each one of those categories to get to where you want to get to, then you can do nothing but positive things for you and your life and your journey. You got to, you got to remember that. That's, this is something that I'm personally working on myself. The reason I get up to do coffee talks in the morning is because I want to get an attitude adjustment. I want to begin my day on the right foot. I want to go into the positive mindset. And then the second piece to it is I got to get to the gym to work out and I got to get my steps in and keep track of my steps and I got to drink my water and I got to put the effort in that I need to, to work hard, to track the things I need to, to count the things I need to and do all the things that I need to, to build into that healthy equation along with being positive from sharing a coffee talk with you guys in the morning and getting myself in the right mindset. So now I've got the right mindset and now I've got the effort. And so at the end of the day, I should feel pretty damn good about the things that I'm doing. I should feel really good about my body of work that I've got going on for that day. So think about that today, okay? If this Monday wasn't a great day, that's okay. Tomorrow's a new day. And start off the day with thinking to yourself, what's my attitude like today? Do I have a positive attitude? Do I think I can do things? Or do I have a negative attitude? And do I think I can't get things done and I'm just a failure? Because if you're on the negative side of it, you got to move it over to the positive just a little bit more. Just a little bit. One, two, three little things you can do to be able to bring yourself over, right? And then on the effort side of it, give yourself a list, a checklist of things you know you've got to make an effort to do to be successful in whatever it is that you're trying to work on. So if it's a job, 
Make sure you put a list of things that you got to do to make sure that your day is effective at what you're doing at your job. If it's counting calories, awesome. Make sure each meal is planned out for yourself or make sure that you've got it written down of how many calories you're going to get in the day and keep track and count it throughout the day and hit that goal that you want to hit hit it because it's important to you. Okay. So think about those things as you head throughout the week. I'll see you all when I get back from Virginia Beach, Virginia, when I'm down there visiting family. And like I said, keep posted. You guys can keep a, a you know abreast of everything that's going on when I'm down there through Instagram and through Facebook and through No Finish Line Nation and all those different platforms because I'm sure I'll be contacting you guys that way. I just don't have the recording stuff to be able to put together a podcast with you guys. And also, I want to make sure I spend good quality time with my father and family down there to make sure everything's good to go. So we'll see you when I get back. Have a great week, everybody, and let's go out there. Remember, attitude and effort, they all matter. Make sure we all work on it. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to the Coffee Talk with Liquid Chain on 1973 podcast. You can also follow him on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Liquid Chain on 1973. Also, if you get a chance, leave some love on iTunes. Have a great day.